Hey, this is Jason Cruz, uh, University of Florida. Had a uh, chance to stop by the Rec Sports facility this morning here at UF and see one of their new uh, tools that they're using to paint their fields. It's called a turf tank. It's a uh, robotic turf painter. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of a brief uh, overview, overview of it and let you see it in action. Here we go. All right, so this is the turf tank robotic painter. It is uh, about three feet long and probably about two and a half or three feet wide. You can see this is the front view where the stop switch is. It holds a two and a half gallon jug of paint underneath the cover. When you flip the cover back, you can see we've got a 12 volt pump that powers the sprayer. And over here, uh, these guys are working with the software on the tablet that controls the field that you're at and communicates with this uh, communication box on the sprayer. The sprayer, communicates back with this GPS base station to allow for very precise uh, location on the field. And once you tell it which field it's on and which line you want it to paint, it lines itself up and starts painting. You can adjust the speed of the painting machine based on the uh, surface that you're going across. Uh, obviously, if it's a little bit rougher, I guess it will bounce around and have a little bit harder time doing a straight line. Um, here it's getting set up. Uh, these are rec sports fields here at the University of Florida, and it's going to paint the 200-foot uh, co-ed line on a softball field. And so it uh, obviously aligned itself and set off across the field. We'll take a little bit of a close-up look here of the paint apparatus itself on the side of the machine. I had to do slow-mo slow -mo for you, so uh, just for fun. But the uh, those guide wheels that keep uh, paint from being oversprayed lift up when it turns and, and uh, changes directions. But otherwise, they float right on the turf so that uh, there is very little overspray. And you can see you get a really beautiful, nice curve out of it when you're painting with it. Of course, one of the first things I had to ask them is whether or not a, they viewed it as being a time saver for their program. Uh, they indicated that to typically paint one of their soccer fields uh, when they have to pull lines and identify, uh, you know, midpoints and things like that, that it takes them about two hours. And with this new tool, they're able to paint a soccer field in about 40 minutes. So with the uh, number of different sports that they have to paint out on their fields and the frequency that they do this, uh, this turf tank robotic sprayer has an opportunity to save rec sports here at the University of Florida pretty significant amount of uh, time, at least from a labor standpoint, that then they'll be able to invest in uh, better caring for their fields and, and providing a safe, playable surface for their athletes that uh, come from the student body and enjoy the use of their facilities. Thanks, and go Gators.